Okay, so what are we talking about today? Well, we're going to talk about what you wanted to talk about. Sharon wants to discuss swinging, so that's what we're talking about. We didn't even go to the hat for that. <laughs> okay, you know that I went on a first date to a swingers club. I actually do know that, but I think you need to tell the story to other people. Yeah, I mean, it was just hysterical. Um, it's a long story, but You win on any blind date yeah. story. On uh, I tell date, your story to other people. First date, swingers club. It was, it was fascinating. It's brave. It was brave. But you know what? I was in a space, different time, different mm. space in my life. But the thing about swinging is, is that it appeals to people on so many levels. Mm. And I think that, that if we could create a space for people to maybe just watch swinging... From, from one step back. Yeah, so it, like almost levels like the, of it. Because yeah, like, everyone has an idea of what it is yes. and they're actually wrong. Yeah. And so if you go to the swingers clubs that I know mm -hmm. um, in Joburg, there's a lot of fantasy play that's going on rather than actual swinging. Absolutely. In terms of yeah, the, the, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. the swapping. Okay, so maybe we should, should just start with the definition, definition of, of what swinging. swinging is. Swinging is supposed to be couples who swap partners. Okay, so that's like all those urban legends and urban stories about keys in the hat and yeah, you know. So it's just saying I'm going to have sex with your partner and you're going to have sex with my partner. So that's the the definition, but that's a blanket definition. Yes, that's a blanket doesn't definition. Doesn't talk about and all the other stuff. About all the other stuff that happens, you know, whether it's a good idea, whether it's a bad idea, and we know loads of couples. I know you mm -hmm. do and I do um, who are swingers. Mm. And they've been married for many, many years, and it works for them. Mm. They're part; it's part of um, the lifestyle, as they call it, and and they're good with it. Mm. I've got to say, I'm too possessive to be like that. Me I too. would <laughs> stab somebody through the heart with a blunt butter knife <laughs> if they looked at my partner, just because. Again, you know, it comes; it's it's from where I've come from, mm. what's happened, and we we all have our things. And that's actually quite interesting because I think a lot of people assume that if you're in any industry that deals with sexuality or sexual energy or you can talk about things so openly, you must be a mad swinger. You must be every weekend, you must be having an orgy. It's, it's sort of I, like a, I wish. a preconception. <laughs> I don't know. An orgy sounds yeah, like an awful no, lot of work to yeah, me. No, you, know, the, the, you know what they say about a, a cobbler's children doesn't have shoes. shoes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, so, you know, there are swinging clubs mm. in Johannesburg and I'm sure there are everywhere in, in the big world cities, and I most imagine, big cities yeah. and you can participate in them and if you want to know where the ones in Joburg are you can email us um, at, at the email address which will appear on your screen mm. a little later and we will advise you where to go but you know one of the things also is is that it it piques people's interests because I think that's in some way it's part of the fantasy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know the 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 the, the three person fantasy. Yeah, the so it's like taking a threesome to a sort of another level yeah. or something. Yeah. And the reality is, is that I think that there are swingers clubs where a lot of swinging is happening, <laughs> but there are also swingers clubs that that are more fantasy clubs. Mm, mm, mm. So it's more about like things like voyeurism or space to be naked and sexual where you're just being that with your partner but you're not necessarily interacting with anyone yeah. else etc and people don't know about that because they think it's all about you leave your keys at the door and someone else is going to have sex with your wife or your husband or yeah. and it's not it's not that at all no and look one of the things on my first date <laughs> back to this first date, back to the I, first I, date. I, I really take my hat off to you because yeah. I can't imagine going on a first date to a swingers okay, club okay so so off you we are go. brave <laughs> and there was, I will never ever forget. First of all, the food was great. Oh, okay. No, the food was great. I'm sure there's something that most people don't the, know. The, the tequila was, was better. <laughs> um, but basically what happened was is that I was fascinated from, from a voyeur's point of view, basically, because yeah. mm. I went there to look. Mm. And there was one couple, he was dressed like a, um, a ringmaster, mm -hmm. and she was wearing a trapeze artist outfit. Okay. And they were they were they were obviously playing out some fantasy of theirs, it's role playing. Yeah. And then yeah. and then there was another couple, and I will never ever forget them. He was, you know, a, a typical farmer. You know those mm. two tone shirts that they wear. <laughs> he was wearing a two tone shirt. It's okay to wear a two tone shirt. It just doesn't perhaps fit 
an upper class lifestyle. No, I think it's it's just it's Hawaiian shirts just, as well. I don't like uh, those either. Yeah. Now my partner's got a two tone shirt which he wears in certain cert certain circles, the farming community, and he fits in. It's perfect. So he was sitting there and he had the most exquisite wife I'd seen. She was mm. quite tall, short, dark hair, and she had, you know, those boots on to here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I call yeah. them. Okay, I'm not going to say. Dominatrix boots. Yeah, <laughs> That's not what you were going to say. But yeah, it's not what I was going to say. But <laughs> anyway, so and she was wearing and nothing else. She oh, just wow. had these boots on, and she danced for him the yeah. whole night. He sat on a chair, and she just moved beautifully. Sure, for imagine him. being that brave. To yeah, be and naked in public and well, to be look, able she, to do that. Well, look, she definitely, you know, had a beautiful body. I guess that's, um, that was the first would be thing. A, a good point. And then the next thing that I realized about the, the swingers club that I went to on a first date um, <laughs> was that the woman had to initiate the interaction. Oh, that's interesting. So, so I bet a lot of people don't know that. Yeah, so, so men couldn't come up to you and say, hey, I want to diddle with you. Okay. It was the the woman had to initiate yeah. it, and no is no. So it's not if if I've said no to mm. you, then don't harass me. Yeah. And don't come back because I will report it to the owner and she will kick you out. I actually think it can be a safer environment than a bar, for example, because you know there's 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 boundaries and there's like regulations yeah, and, and rules. Yeah, exactly. And in a bar, if somebody comes up and harasses you or treats you badly or is rude to you or is trying to get into your pants, as it were, what can you do? You have no real recourse apart from leaving. Yeah. It so is it is a fascinating thing. I also heard stories of it it being basically a bunch of middle-aged people you know and it's a bit like the discovery channel <laughs> so, what is that a bunch thing? of middle-aged people on a documentary on the discovery channel it's just a whole bunch of people like having sex and it's actually quite boring it's sort of like watching mating on the discovery channel okay well so, so that's, it's, that's it's, a different take you can it. there are all of these experiences to have i guess and I suppose taking away the fear of it and knowing that you can go and have an experience of visiting a swingers club and you don't have to do anything. Yeah, you can just watch. Yeah, it's it's, it's like if you or walk you into a bar, you don't even have to order a drink. You know, yeah. you can actually just go to see what it's like and just, and I mean, going because you feel like you're really adventurous to just be mm. able to go as a, as a couple and I, be I, in a swingers club. Yeah, I also think that what it, it, it could, it could fulfill a, a foreplay role almost because you're yeah. taking your sexuality and your normal sex play mm. out mm. on a trip yeah a hell of a trip but a trip nonetheless and, and you would have to discuss that yes. before you went you know and, and if one of you wants to do it and the other one doesn't then what don't yeah i'm in a total we, agreement you know we, with you we go back to what you said you know you you go at the pace of the person who's got the most to lose to lose or the, or most the best fearful. fear yeah. so so you you go at that pace but I think that you need to know that you can go without having to do anything. You can just you mm. can just be there yeah. and participate, and it's quite a sexy environment. And you don't and you don't have to be threatened by the fact that everybody's going to be beautiful and you know they're not going to have cellulite because they're not. They 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 <laughs> they're all very average. You know they all have to do this <laughs> to wash their belly buttons. So you know the. the, the they're very few and far between absolutely exquisite Sharon, I people, think we've just know. like not advertised for swinging clubs. <laughs> no, it's supposed it's, to be this big adventure. It is an adventure and it is, and I think it will spark your relationship mm -hmm. um, if that's what you're looking for. And it certainly is, if it's something you want to explore, do. I think but you, but I set think the rules before yeah, you go. You've got, to, you've, got to, you've got to be able to communicate about that sort of thing. I mean, I've had... A lot of people talking to me about um, uh, well, where men have actually been very interested and the women have gone along with it and they're not happy about it but they've gone mm. along with it so they drink a lot or whatever so that they can be okay with it. And in some of those stories, in fact quite a high percentage, um, the women actually eventually start enjoying it and the men put a stop to it. Because they're like, yeah. oh, hang on, this wasn't my fantasy that you are now having fun, having fun and leaving me out. My fantasy was that I was going to get to have sex with all these other women. So you don't know how things are going to pan out, but if you don't communicate, you are so screwed. Yeah, you're in big trouble. You really are, and the communication on that level is really important. I've just I've seen it happen with a lot of relationships where they wanted to try and open the relationship. If you want to have an open, if you want to have an open relationship. 
you better make sure that you have a very strong and communicative relationship because otherwise it will not work. Mm. Well, we're going to have a show on polyamory mm. um, later on. So, And polyamory is where you have relationships with more than one person. And that's full relationships. And, yeah, it's not just yeah, and swinging it does, or... Yeah, it's not just, you know, in a certain place mm. at a certain time. So that's swinging. At the moment. <laughs> All right, what next?